Yep, we knew it was coming, but it still hurts to say it. That mild summer we were all enjoying, yeah, it's over. Today is officially the hottest day of the year so far. It is our first 100 degree day, but this is Texas, so the heat isn't stopping people from getting outside. First responders from across North Texas played in the Battle of the Badges softball tournament today in Rowlett. Here's hoping they had plenty of water and Gatorade on hand. We are starting things off this evening with meteorologist Jesse Hawila in the Weather Center. All right, we knew it was coming. We're not happy about it. And Never. it sounds like it's not going to let up anytime soon. No, I, I think tomorrow's hotter oh by, by a degree or two. So Great. <laughs> we knew we, we couldn't escape this forever. Couldn't. Uh, we did that today. Let's show you 100 degrees at 310 PM. So uh, now we cannot be excited about this anymore. Let's just move on from all of this. But that's our first triple digit day of the year, which is running a few weeks below, uh, behind normal behind schedule. Excuse me. Average first July. Boy, let me start over, Teresa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jesse. The average first 100 degree day is July 1st. Weird. The normal 100 degree days that we see today is eight. So this is our first one. We're doing all right. Uh, still very hot outside. 99 degrees in Fort Worth feels like 103 when you factor in the humidity. Fair Parks at 98 feels like 103. There's another heat advisory issued for tomorrow. Heat index values in excess of 105. So we'll talk about when we could see a little break from the heat plus there's some rain chances too, Teresa. It's coming up. All right, a break from the heat sounds good, Jesse. Thank you. Don't forget to keep that WFAA app handy all week long. It's free, it's easy to use, and it can help you track our daily temperatures on the go. You just need to search WFAA in your app store in order to find it.